Okay, so in this final chapter we're going to look at recording data inside of Motion Builder as well as preparing our rig for export back into our favorite 3D package. Uh, before we start though, we want to make sure that our timeline is set to 30 frames a second because that is uh, what phase shift uses and we want to make sure that our device is in recording mode. So once that is done we can go into the timeline and hit record on the timeline. In this case I just want to override the current take because there's nothing really in there because it's the first time we do it. And then I'm just going to hit play and I'm going to do my performance. Okay, so let's pretend that was a good performance. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the face is still being driven live. So I first have to make sure it's the live button is off. And then when I scrub through, and I can actually hit play and the old animation will play back. And um, if I want to record another one, I can just create a new take. And I don't want to copy the data, that's fine. Just Need a new take and do another performance. And again, let's have a look at that. Um, so that's it. Those are two takes that I'm happy with. Uh, I can save this out as an FBX file. Uh, but um, in order to use this in your 3D package, we first have to make sure that we plot the actual data. Because now the data is uh, in the device and it's in the character phase and in all the properties, etc. And we actually want it to be on this rig because th this rig is what we have in Maya, 3D Max, Soft Image, uh, Cinema, wh whatever package we're using. So in order to do that, we simply just go in and um, plot all the objects. Uh, so in this case, I had you know, the eyes, the neck and the shoulder middle, as well as the head for all the blend shapes. So we just go in, plot selected all properties. Uh, defaults usually are fine, just make sure that we're using 30 frames a second because that's what we said. And then we go into plot and now if we look at the um, actual objects, you should see that it now has function curves on the actual objects. And the same should go for the uh, shoulders, that which contain the positions of the head. The rotations of the head should go over there and the eyes should also have data. So now I can easily export this and sort of save it out as an FBX file and then just import it in my 3D package. So that kind of wraps everything up. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorials and uh, good luck with rigging your own faces in Motion Builder. Bye-bye.